Oscar, look at that pretty old Chevy. What's up guys and welcome. Check out that house behind me. I don't know why, but I find that house pretty cool. Cool uh, design to it, very modern. Anyway, I'm cutting right to us getting to our first boat here. We're going to a 43, we're running a little late today. So let's get right to it. So there's a 43 Tierra. Actually, I had this boat in one of my videos where we replaced the battery for our port engine here. But this time, our trim tabs are not working, so let's find out why. All right, so we come to our dash here, and if you look, we have Lenko's on our Tierra here. For some reason, this is just flashing. So let's take a look at our trim tabs in the back and just to see if there's something going on there, but this is what controls everything, so most likely we have a problem here. we the wind noise. It's pretty windy here. So let's look underneath. Nope, there's one of our tabs. It's all the way up. Here's our port side, also all the way up. All right, so we're gonna have to go behind our dash. We take off a little piece here. We'll be able to slide this forward so we can look behind it. Pull this forward. Now let's find it out of this, all this fun back here. Yep, you're right here. All right, so this is the new style that has everything in one in this control box right here. So, we're probably gonna have to cut some of this out just so I can get to it. And I'll go grab one of these, I have one of these. So we'll be able to plug in and see if it uh, fixes it just by plugging that component in. All right, so right here is our controller. And actually, if you can see underneath, there's a little green board. They used to actually have a control box Kind of looked like uh, this guy right here that everything would plug into. They eliminated that, and now they just have these right here. But this is not the right one. They gave me the wrong part. It's supposed to be a controller, and this is just a mirror. Like if you have a second station, you can add this to the top, and it would just pigtail in, so you wouldn't have to have two control boxes. So unfortunately, we are going to get the right part and return to this so we can fix that, because there's no other pieces here that control the trim tabs and the trim tabs are all the way up and the thing's flashing so we'll put a new one of those in and go from there but we have one other thing to do here all right so this piece actually goes to our table here and get underneath and uh, replace it all right so right here yeah it's completely missing all right so yeah this this clips in here when you sit and you can just pull it on this table we'll slide right here it'll clip back in place once you turn it that way the table don't slide around when you're moving. Well, I guess we'll return to this boat. But right now, we're gonna head all the way down to Tierra Verde, to Pier 32, so I'll see you there. Well, all right, an hour later, we made it down here. We're actually looking for a 285 Grady White. Let's go see if we can find it. Looks like our boat's right around the corner here. Check our hull number. That's her. So this is the Freedom version, which is a dual console. Jump aboard here. I like the name. The Tiki guy is cool. All right, so this customer wants us to check his batteries and change them if necessary. Just gonna open all this up here. hole here you got two batteries they're both AGMs on each side I unfortunately don't have these batteries because we can't get anything right now but I do have some batteries that will work if these are dead let's test and see what our voltage is well that's our port side and you can see we got 5.4 volts that's not even close to enough here's our starboard side uh, it looks like they're right on top of each other in voltage so before we can do anything, let's change these out. Go back and get our wagon and a couple new batteries, but look at this little thing. A weird little boat. A jet drive. Yep. 
definitely different. Power pole vans here. batteries out first all right let's get these out first you know forklift in the background but to close down it's almost 4 30 already I'm running late we were dealing with something at the shop that unfortunately I couldn't film I wish I could film everything but I'm not allowed to take the uh, holders off here and we'll get to our port battery. See that Wiggins Marina Bull forklift right there? This is actually where we bought the one, used one for our shop from. All right, now we'll do the same thing to this side. And this one too. It's the fun part. They're AGM batteries, so they're twice as heavy as normal batteries. now. So we're in. The first thing we're going to do is put these on because if you don't, they're never going to go on with the wires on first. All right, let's put it on the other side too first. bundle of wires and it's way here. Alright, now we can put our wires on. Let's put our grounds on first. Oop. Let's see that. We'll put the motor on first. That's gonna be the important one that's gonna charge and do everything. I'll make sure that has a good good ground. And then we got our power, accessory power here. It's reversing the process here. And they're shutting her down. 
Well, perfect timing because that one was done too. All right, let's get our grounds on this side. Get our motor ground first again. Almost done here. We'll check all of our systems, just push some buttons, crank the motors over, make sure everything is going to do what it's supposed to. That way it doesn't come to a boat that don't work. Put our covers back over. All right. Now let's see if everything works. There, right, we got the covers off everything. Let's turn our key switch on. All right, good. We got 12.6, 12.7. We've got fresh, fully charged batteries here. All right, so our battery switches are on port and starboard separate, so they're not combined. So we'll make sure that each battery is going to do their job. We're just going to fire these off real quick and see if they start up. All right, that's a good, good sound. Let's turn our GPS on. Warms up, we'll push our buttons here. Good. Spread our lights around. Looks like all of our buttons are working. The hard top lights. Oh, raw water works. Bilge. Yeah, I can hear everything. So everything's working. Our GPS is on. Let's fire our stereo up. She's turning on. The main stereo is actually over there. This is just a remote for it, so it'll say waiting for stereo. Let's see if our VHF works. Not gonna hear it. Oh, there it goes. Felt like it was making a noise, but now she's working. Right, turn that off. Turn this off. All right, let me turn these batteries off here. This boat needs to be cleaned. I'm gonna guess that it's been sitting it's pretty dirty, like it was sitting in the bottom rack or something in the marina here. But well, we are done, and I'm done for today. So, as always, I appreciate everybody watching, and I will see you next time. Later. So we sold this brand new 2022 336 Fisherman. I'll give you an idea how much the price is here, look. Brand new one, 158.5.